many newsrooms in Wisconsin and across the country have essentially become hollowed out. They've lost 30 to 40 percent of their reporting workforce. Investigative reporting takes a lot of time and money, a lot of investment. So what we do is we provide these stories for free to all of the editors of the state of Wisconsin and beyond. When I was at the Press Gazette, the center was just starting out and they did some really great work. It was timely, relevant, and um, hit on a lot of issues that were important to our readers. The newspaper had gone through three rounds of layoffs, so it really filled that gap for us. There are very few places today that do the same level of deep uh, investigative journalism on a local and state level as some of the big newspapers like the Washington Post where I work. And the local level is actually as important or more important. So the Center for Investigative Journalism is providing an incredibly important service. So far, uh, about 600 news organizations have used or cited our content. And our goal, of course, is to inform the citizenry and, and strengthen our democracy. We are not an advocacy organization. We're not trying to cater to one political party or the other. And, and that's part of how we keep our legitimacy. We have a marvelous relationship with the School of Journalism and Mass Communication. And the students really drive our projects forward. We also hire paid student interns whose offices are right here in Vilas Hall. They're right there out in the trenches doing the interviewing, analyzing the data, coming up uh, with our findings, accessing public records, holding powerful officials to account. You know, we're doing original reporting. We're not just getting quotes and filing the story. We're really talking to people, getting the data that we need to support whatever we're saying. The most important stories the center has done involve frac sand mining, whistleblowers and the failure of the state to protect them, water quality issues. These are stories that are critically important to most of us and they need to be told. And they involve no political bias at all. They're exceptional journalists. The work has won a lot of awards. Results are fantastic. They are leaders uh, that are looked to nationally by other journalism organizations. Dee and Andy are so generous with their time and they really care about teaching the next generation of investigative reporters and it's changed my life and I'm, I'm just really happy to be a part of it. A typical investigation might take us two to three months. Last year, for example, in our failure to, uh, at the Fawcett Project, where we examined threats to Wisconsin's drinking water, we spent more than $60,000. We do not have a subscription. We have some other forms of revenue, but our largest are foundations and individual donations. People who fund our work have no voice in our editorial decisions, and we take great pride in protecting the integrity of the journalism. We are looking for things that other people don't want you to know. We investigate for regular people who don't have any way of figuring these things out on their own. We can't ever rest. We have to remain vigilant always uh, to make sure that the public remains knowledgeable about the actions of the people in power.